Hello and welcome to another episode of HFT Gaming Hayden Plays Cuphead. It is now, finally, the time to start trying to rob a train. We're going Red Dead Redemption 2 on this, sugar mofo. Is this Casper's uncle? It looks very, what is it? There's fatso, sh schlinky, schlanky, and stinky. Maybe it's lanky. It looks like the stinky one with the garlic bread from the movie, doesn't it? It's got that sort of vibe to him. He's obviously a bad old bastard anyway, whoever he is. <sighs> you can see into the future, you'll be counting worms. Is that because I'll be six feet under? Well, well, well now. This is uh, quite reminiscent of that boss battle in Final Fantasy VI, another Final Fantasy reference, shock horror from me. Except uh, e even less surreal somehow. In that you're like suplexing and doing some Mai Tai on a train, on a ghost train. Ugh. Oh it is, jazz hands! Wallop, whack, wished, wished up here now. Just keep the eyes all destroyed and I should be fine. Just keep them at bay. Not doing a great job of it. it. That's what makes the game difficult, is just how much is going on screen at once. You need to see past the Matrix. These little shitheads moving the... My cart don't help either. Pumpkin bastards. You ain't a sweetie pie, you pumpkin pie. Casper was a weird movie, wasn't it? Was it Christina Ritchie that was in it? Yeah, it was. It wasn't uh, the other one that's in Netflix, Stranger Things now. Uh, Winona Ryder. No, it's definitely Christina Ritchie. Uh, but like, even in the end, like where he gets turned into a human, just to kind of shift her to once, and then it's like, well, if she's in love with you, like she has to like die or kill herself to be with you. That's not a happy ending. It's quite tragic and awful and dark. It's like Casper, stop being a creepy little poltergeist and fuck off. Bye bye, Mr. Conductor. I didn't have a ticket. Ha 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 ha. I don't think I've ever risked that. No matter where I've been in the world, is getting on like a tram or anything or on a train without a ticket. I'd be too scared of what would happen. Zeus. I don't. I, I have no idea what these demon heads are meant to be. Are they like giant lollipops? Pedals or brakes or something? I I don't know. This doesn't make sense. It looks like ringworm. I remember once I had a dog growing up, Max was his name. I had him for about 14, 14 I think he got to, but as he got older at one stage, he had worms. And I just remember... So close. Let's change it up a bit. Because if everything is behind me, I should probably use this roundabout thing. And just aim back the way. Let's do this. That was a waste. Ooh. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? If I'm just jumping back like this, it'll keep taking all the eyes out. Yeah, much better. Much better strategy. A much better strategy. Uh, balls. Boomerang, boomerang, boomerang. Aha! Boomerang. How do you like that? How do you like those puns, mofo? Boomerang. I'm brilliant. This dad is the quality content you are here for. Oh, look at the sad little creepy lads just hanging out inside. Do you know what's going on, do you? I'm trying to kill the train. Do you think they're like, because they're quite close to the end of it, do you think these are all like souls that have been shipped off to the devil? Am I actually doing them a service? I'm gonna free you lads, don't worry. You don't have to pay your debt. I'm gonna free ya. Forget about it. There's no one as sound as me. Oh yeah, I was talking about ringworm, wasn't I? Don't know why. Dog, yeah, I just remember seeing a big massive one coming out of its ass and be like, oh, I don't love you anymore. 
I, obviously, I did love the dog, but it was just gross seeing a giant worm coming out of its ass. It was like waving. Ah! What's the noise the ghosts are made? They're like, ah! That is orgasmic! My back is really hurting me now. It's so sunny out as well. I want to go outside and just like lie in the sun. Apologies if you can hear the cat at the window. That is Watson. Named obviously after Watson and Holmes. We used to have a Holmes, but he died when they were very young. I think he got killed by some dogs. It was very unfortunate. And now it's just Watson. He's a very sol a solemn character. Quite a recluse, very lonesome. He doesn't even really like coming inside. Like he just likes he likes to sit at the window and like watch you, and then if you go to bring him in, he'll be like, nah, fuck off, bro. I just want to see what's going on, but I want no part of it. You know, he he's the hipster of cats. It doesn't seem like any of these are hidden, that does it? Uh, a few of them are. Like every one or so. There we go. Surely this is it. Ah, we just have to beat the front, beat its face. Where'd you go? Okay. Okay, it's a horse now all of a sudden. A horsey. Oh, you wait, you let the carriage away. You'd rather kill me than, like, bring everything to the devil. Ugh. He's like the ferryman for the river sticks. Except it's the tracks. Man, I grew up on the wrong side of these tracks, don't you know? Papa Kettle, Papa Kettle how taught me how to take a man out with no hassle, no hassle at all, son. Oh, oh. That's actually quite hard to jump up to the parry. Oh, no. You almost have to, like, bash off that double. Oh, uh, wallop clallop. There's a face. There's a weirwood tree in the background there. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones came back at the weekend. It was pretty good. Lining up all the pieces together, ready for the end game. Seeing all these little reunions was nice. Talking about reunions and stuff, it's only what? It's actually it's a week today until Endgame is out. That's exciting. I mean, I'm not a massive superhero guy myself, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's kind of it's like how how do you describe like what even that is? It's like it'll be a cultural moment, the end of an era. Like, I still remember being in school myself when Iron Man came out, like, and just, like, how much everyone else loved it, I didn't really care about it. Still don't actually like the Iron Man films. I like him in The Avengers, but his standalone movies never did anything for me. Clear up the worms. This is actually quite easy when you get the knack of it done. Come on. Yes. Ah! Fuck. That was silly on my behalf there now. Come on. Skin a match ni chin chin. There. We're coming into this last one with full. Um, more or less full health and a super. What can go wrong? Everything. Everything can go wrong and everything will go wrong. It is so hard to get up to that. Just let me parry your tail, man! Why are you not like me slapping your pink? Let me slap your pink. Slap the pink, it's the way to his heart. Ah. Oh, nice. Yes, 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 I thought that would have been it there now that I got a full super off on it. 
he actually has a considerable amount of health. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. I'm a heartbreaker. C minus. D plus, yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Come on, do your little dance. Dance away there, little loading screen man. Come on. Come on now. Jesus, the load times are long, aren't they? And I think I normally cut these out for you lads. I think this is the first loading screen you're actually going to have to sit through. Watch him do his dance. There we go. The Phantom Express. Soul contract is mine. We have one more boss to do. Do you think I can actually get into the devil's area though now? Because the thing is gone. Okay, I can just walk in. I wonder what would happen if I had done that. Should I? Probably be silly. I thought that would be a little secret passageway there. Nothing! That's not cool. Right, we have one more boss to go up by the scrap heap. I'm sure he's just gonna be a junky, 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 junky chewer. Yeah, just the one, just the one. And then the finale. Oh no. I still don't know what to do with these music lads. I think I'll just let them to their own devices. It's probably a little side thing that I'm not going to work out. Oh, Junkyard Jive. Let's jive to it, lads. Play the music. Play the tunes. Epic tunes. Oh, that was a creepy little eyebrow eyes. The Iron Giant has been weaponized. I barely remember that movie. I, I know I saw it. It came out around the same time, I think. Or at least I saw it around the same time as uh, the South Park movie. Which obviously made much more of an impact on me. Because it, that was class. You know, I'm sure the Iron... I, I, I know the Iron... That was bad. I know the Iron Joint was a good movie because Joey Tribbiani says so. And if it's in Friends, it must be true. Even though I haven't really rewritten Friends is no longer a good thing, we, we're, we're not supposed to like Friends anymore. Because it's inappropriate and Ross was a bad person. And there's a lot of awful jokes in it. I don't know. I, I find it hard to keep up with what's okay and what isn't okay. Damn. Charlie XCX actually has that song. I remember when I was in school, Calvin Harris had the one about the 80s. About... It was in the eight, it was okay in the eighties or something like that. It was a banging tune. But there's one now about Charlie X. It's uh, nineteen ninety nine. It's all wanting to go back to the nineties. I was like, wow, I feel feckin' old. I was seven in ninety nine. It's like we're singing songs about going back there now. It's like what lads? It's twenty years ago. Madness, madness. Oh god. I don't think I actually managed to destroy anything there. I just think I hit nothing. My boom was wasted. Oh! Sh shit, what? Right. His head is a rocket. Malfunction, malfunction. Oh, the doctor's in the head though, isn't he? That makes sense. We gotta drop bombs on it. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. They explode even if I don't touch them. That's quite difficult. Best I yeah. No point in trying to face it head on, just to try and drop bombs on it. That's my best approach. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Ooh. This is intense. Yeah! Knocked him out of the sky. Surely this is the end. He's got a Chaos Emerald! Sonic! Sonic! Fuck. 
A great slam and then stop. And you Take out. The, yeah, get rid of this thing first. Get rid of the laser at the top first, because that's a bit of a nuisance. I can dodge around these little things. Gone. Get rid of that next. Parry, nice. Even though I should probably keep that, because that like lets me have a parry, which is quite handy. But well, it needs to go now, anyway. Boom. And now just to get rid of his heart. Oh, ah, what a waste. Ah. Okay, we did bet this is our best run so far. We still have three health left going into this. That's something. Nice little circuit. It's all about getting this done quickly. The bombs felt safer, but this might be quicker. Come on. Oh, you bastards. Yes! We've, oh, a different Chaos Emerald this time. It's a blue one. I wonder if he evolved seven. That'd be quite... Oh, balls. Okay. That's two in a second one. It's actually harder to see the parry ones when it's red. Not that I really care about parry and anything now. I just want to dodge everything. Yeah, it just goes red and blue. Red and blue, red and blue, roost your teeth. Come on. That's what I actually need to watch is RBWI, Ruby. I haven't seen that in years. Yeah! That was a ski y'all, man. Let's see what I got. What did I got? What did I got? Oh, I hard to call. B. A minus. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. And on that note, Isle Tree is complete. This is madness. We're coming to the end. There's only one thing left to do. Kill King Dice! The final soul contract is mine. Dr. Carl's robot. Oh, it's a robot's contract, not Dr. Carl. I wonder why he had the contract. Maybe that he felt useless. Doesn't really matter. I'll see you next time for the finale. The grand, grand finale. I've got it all. My checklist is complete. See you when I see you, lads. Goodbye.